हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू माई सेल गौरव जगदीश पाठक एंड टुडे इन द सब्जेक्ट टॉपिक ऑफ अप्लाइड थर्मोडायनामिक्स वी कैन सी न्यू टॉपिक इन दिस एस्पेक्ट दैट इज प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ कार्बोरेशन कार्बोरेशन इज द प्रोसेस टू प्रोवाइड द फ्यूल सप्लाई अन इंटरप्टेडली टू द इंजिन एज अ रनिंग कंडीशन एज वेल एज इन द न्यूट्रल कंडीशन ऑफ द इंजिन the principle of carburations are here in front of you may better understand the inner working of the carburetor and how other components of the fuel system functions to provide the combustible mixture or air and fuel into engine which into the cylinder air is composed of various gases mostly nitrogen oxygen and many other gases these gases are in turn made up of very other particles and molecules all substances whether solid liquid or gases are made up of molecules in solid such as ice or iron the particles are held closely together so that this seems to have no motion in the liquid the molecules are not held together tightly so they can move freely with the respect to the each other in the gases there is a still less tendency for the molecules to the bond therefore the molecules can be moved quite freely these molecules of gases are attracted by the earth or by the force of gravity and their weight it is the combined weight for the contribution and the contrarious molecules in that to make up the atmospheric pressure friends there are the fact factors that affect on the mixture process are the very important points that affects the mixture and the function of carburetions are the temperature atmospheric pressure volatility of the fuel and atomization that is mixing of rich mixture or lean mixture the percentage of air mixture into the particular particular uh, mixture of the air now the rate of movement of the molecules increase with the temperature because of this the amount of molecules leaving the liquid for the given time will be increased as the temperature increases the atmospheric pressure as the atmospheric pressure increases the amount of air molecules presented over the liquid also increases the increase in presence of the air molecules will show that the rate of evaporation this this is the because of molecules of liquid will have more air molecules to the collide with it in many cases they will fall back into the liquid after the collision the third aspect which affects the carburetion system is the volatility of the air fuel mixture that is the fuel which is supplied to the uh, engine running and it is depends upon the volatility of the particular system the term volatility refers to how fast of the liquid vaporizes that mean how fastly it mixes with the air and some liquid vaporizes easily to the room temperature and alcohol for instance vapor more easily than the water a high volatile liquid is one of that consists to evaporate easily the last aspect that affect the carburetion process is atomization the atomization is the process of breaking up the liquid into a tiny particles or droplets when the liquid is atomized the droplets are all exposed individually to the air you can see the in the diagram in front of you the functioning of atomization that the spray pounded with the air fuel mixture is atomizes in their system for this reason the atomization greatly increases the evaporation by increasing the exposed surface or of the liquid now what is the function of carburetor or what is the actual function or what is the actual working of carburetor a carburetor is the basically a device for mixing of air and fuel in the correct amount for efficient carburetion the carburetor bolts to engine intake manifold the air cleaner fits over the top of the carburetor and to trap the dust and dirt and other unwanted particles from the mixing of air and fuel 
the carburetor consists of mainly following parts that is the body of the carburetor air horn throttle wall venturi is the most important part main discharge tube and fuel bowl you can see in front of your screen the carburetor body the various precise parts are fitted and which is made up of highly finished material which is made up of various alloys air horn the air horn is also called as a throat that is formed between the uh, nozzle at the center of uh, convergent and divergent portion and it is or we can say as a barrel the part which often the fasten their air horn body are as follow the choke that hot ideal compressor and the fast ideal linkage rod the choke vacuum brake and the sometimes the float pump of the mechanism in front of your screen how actually air fuel mixing process is done is shown with the help of line diagram in the line diagram you can see the throat position of the mixing for the air and fuel ratio is there and the uh, mixing with the help of at the exact point through the throat which is parallel to the discharge nozzle at the throat point there is a provision of a venturi which forms the correct air fuel mixture into the carburetor the throttle wall is provided at the bottom of the venturi and the the disc shaped wall control air flow through the air horn then when it is closed it raises the flow of air to the fuel into the engine and when it open the air fuel air flow fuel flows and engine power increases the throttle wall combination is called venturi and the venturi produces the sufficient suction to pull out the fuel and out of the main discharge tube the venturi plays a vital role into the functioning of smooth running of carburetor the main discharge tube the main discharge tube is also called as the main fuel nozzle and it is passage that connects the fuel bowl to the center of the venturi it is the discharge nozzle and it can be provide the passage to the venturi fuel bowl that is we can say the cup shape body provided at, at the bottom of the float side and the fuel bowl holds the supply of fuel that is not under the fuel pump pressure but it is directly connected to the reservoir or petrol tank we can say the carburized size started in cfm that is cubic feet or air per minute and this is the amount of air that can flow through the carburetor wide open throttle the cpm as indication of the maximum air flow called usually small cap cpm carburetors are more fuel efficient than the large carburetor the air velocity fuel mixing and automation of better with the small thread bores a large cpm rating describe the high engine powerful outputness so this is all about the types and the floating venturi meters and also the rating of the carburetors thank you friend thank you very much